In school, I got good enough grades to enrol in college, did forensic science and learned a lot. And I basically just didn't like doing the coursework, so I ended up failing the course. In the end, that was the very start of the friction between me and my parents. I went back to college to do art and design BTEC and failed because of the coursework again. All the while, in second year, my parents were pushing me to train to go into the Navy. After I failed the course, my parents pushed me harder and harder and we started arguing more and more. I got angrier and more depressed. It felt like everyone in the world was against me. I stopped training for the Navy. I was in and out of work and then I finished my job in, in Amazon. When I was a couple of months out of Amazon, at the end of January, the arguments got so bad that my parents kicked me out. And the sofa surfing began. I spent a month just going to different friends' houses. I stayed in one place for two weeks. I stayed with a friend who had been through the same things and they suggested I talk to Dewis. The whole time I was terrified I would end up sleeping on the streets. It was February and it was cold. Dewis contacted me to say they, they, they had a place for me in a bedstead and my parents helped me move in. As I wasn't seeing them as often, my relationship with them got a bit better. I stayed in the beds for two months. I was scared to begin with, not knowing who was living there and scared of getting broken in two. I was lucky Dewis was there to help and support me through the process. A couple of months later I moved in on my own flat. Six or seven months after my parents kicked me out and while I was living in the flat I felt isolated. I got worse and worse and I wasn't going out unless I really had to. I wasn't eating properly, I visited my parents every weekend but still felt very alone and my parents noticed that I was getting worse and suggested I go to the doctors but I thought everyone was just going against me and they were all attacking me. I finally went to the doctors and started taking steps towards fighting the depression and I still am today. I started volunteering when I was 16 and since going through being homeless I volunteer more now with Darius. It feels like I've got a, a, a job. And when you're an employee, you've got no money, you've got no television, and volunteering stops you from going mad. It's helped me with my depression and confidence. I told the job centre I was volunteering. I thought everything was going to be fine. I was a bit annoyed I had to fill in the form for volunteering, but thought everything was going to be fine. A week later, I got a letter saying my job seeker's benefit was going to be stopped pending further investigation about my volunteering, which meant they thought I was getting paid. I didn't have money for eight weeks. The only reason I survived those weeks without money was because I overpaid my water bill by £114.02. Those were the hardest weeks of my life. I hardly ate, just smoked. The only reason I got through it was I budgeted, I budgeted very carefully and got some help from my parents. I went off my medication just before that too and felt terrible the whole time. Since going through all that, I realised life is hard but there will always be help somewhere as long as you can ask for it.